But then little by little, I discovered that I still felt that I was imprisoned behind this huge instrument. And when I started touring around the world, I couldn't be worried about how to get that huge harp onto a plane. I had to have freedom with that instrument. I wanted to be able to wear it on stage as if, as if I'm a centaur and this is a part of me, like a prosthetic voice, part of my voice that I needed to add on to me because it wasn't born with me. So there were those two things. There was the need for my fingers to have a voice that I could wear. And then there was that need to be able to just logistically get around. To be able to, my dream was to be able to get on a plane with two bags, one of which was my harp. And that was part of the beginning of the journey of creating this harp.